Hi everyone, I'm going to make an original page. I just have the need to smear some paint or glue something. I haven't, uh, uh, I don't have a clue what I'm going to make. I just know that I want to use this uh, lovely papers that I got from uh, Maria. And I also have this uh, paper napkin that seems like it would work nicely with these papers. So I'm just uh, going to start uh, putting, uh, gluing down pieces uh, to my page and I'm taking a piece out of this napkin with a fine brush with water. I don't want harsh uh, lines so I'm not using scissors just tearing it like so white glue and putting down the glue my page is uh, these colors went through the other page that I've done but I don't care it's gonna get covered and I don't even care that my paper napkin tore here this is just the base the groundwork for whatever will come uh, afterwards you know how it is we are layering and sometimes um, you just don't know what will uh, still be uh, visible when you are finished with your page so as I said I'm just putting down pieces The only plan I have uh, right now is putting down some uh, of pieces from these papers and afterwards uh, going uh, on top of it with a uh, gesso and acrylic uh, paints to blend everything together. Mm. I'm trying to use the straight lines on my edges and anything else uh, will go inside. I don't want uh, straight edges in, in the middle uh, of my page. Let's see. Um,
Okay, what else? <laughs> As I said, it's not planned. I'm just drawing something, playing around. Okay, uh, let's see what else. I really feel the need for a little bit of this on the edges. So, like so. And a little bit more of my paper napkin. I don't know why, but I seem to when i'm doing something like this uh, i've noticed that i'll put at least three pieces of the same uh, stuff on my page don't know why it works that way but that's how it is but i'm not uh, sticking to it <laughs> every time but most of the time it's three pieces from each paper or element that i will uh, use on my page okay so what else I feel like something is missing here and I don't know no I'm leaving it be as is I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going uh, to start with adding paints and uh, gesso and we'll see how it goes I'll be back okay I'm back and I've got here white gesso black gesso and two acrylic paints that are similar to the colors here and unfortunately I don't have any brand uh, to give you it's a local Israeli uh, brand so <laughs> this is it now, uh, as I said, don't have a clue what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just adding water to my uh, gesso. I want it diluted uh, so I can blend here, but not uh, cover too much. And I think I'm going to take some baby wipe so I don't have again straight edges I want to smear like so and let's see more water and smearing This is too dark so I need to uh, bring it down with the gesso. Seems like I, I'm trying to blend everything, but not doing it uh, good enough yet because I don't want it all covered up. So I'm trying now 
to add more bold uh, strokes of the white gesso. What's the worst that could happen? Just adding water to my baby wipe. Maybe I need to add a little bit of the acrylic color. And start going in several places. It's not an exact science, <laughs> I'm just trying to get everything, uh, I don't know if blend is the right word, it's not blend, it's more that so everything will be cohesive and because it's different kind of papers and design and you want everything to be more uh, like in the same language I'm thinking now to add from the pink it doesn't have a name uh, on the bottle but I'm calling it antique <laughs> pink don't know why but that's how it looks to me I'm going in uh, especially here because I don't uh, like all this white on the paper okay starting to come along now I wanted to do something with black which I usually don't do I only use black on edges and to make some shading and things like that but I want to add black gesso to my page <laughs> be brave <laughs> ay, ay, ay. we'll see what <laughs> as I said I don't usually go for black on my page but Okay, first time for everything. If it won't be nice, I'll cover it. <laughs> Worst case scenario, everything will go to the trash.
<laughs> so I'm leaving this black and now I need to have other elements with black or it will be really not in its place I'm just putting of the black gesso here on a plastic card to use as to make print I hope it uh, and everything will come together right now. <laughs> it, I don't know what it is. We'll see. Let's see what else I can put here that will add with the black. Let's see. I'm going to pick some things and I'll be, I'll be back. I'm back, so I've brought some stamps to uh, stamp around my page and add some more interest and something in black that will uh, correspond with what I've done so far. And I'm, as I said, not sure what uh, what will be here. I've, I'm going to just play, start playing. I've got this handwriting uh, stamp that I'm just going to randomly put around my page. So, and a little bit here, here, and here so this is one and I've got a stamp that looks like crack cracks crackle let's see I'll mm, don't know if I want it here no nope. not gonna use it and I've got this stamp don't know how to call it I really like it it always adds interest to my page oh I really like it <laughs> Okay, something is definitely uh, starting to take shape here. Let's hope for the best. Putting it aside. And now I want to add some flowers. And let's see. I've got flowers in the background. So I'm going to put some flowers here. Let's see. Trying it here first. Yeah. They are not overbearing. So I can add them to my page. even trying to uh, to make a, a very good print just something that adds to the interest in the background 
Okay, so that's what I wanted for my background. I really like what's turning up here. And now I'm going to try something on the black. I've got this uh, stencil of manda mandala, yeah, mandala, and I'm going to try a gel pen. Another thing that I got from uh, Maria, and let's hope it got it's going to work. Yeah. I'm not trying again to be accurate, just putting down some extra detail and interest to my page. So this is going to take some time, so I'm going to uh, pause the video and I'll come back when I'm finished with it. I already know that I'm going to try, I've got a, a white gel pen that I'm going to add here because as nice as this neon pink is, I feel like I need some uh, white doodling here. So I'll be back. I'm back and I really like how this turned out. As you can see, I've only used the stencil as a guideline. I didn't try to fill the spaces completely. I wanted it to look more like doodling and freehand. So that's what I have here and I really like it. So I want something like this here to correspond with this uh, part. So I'm again going to try and this is... Uh, try and this uh, gel pens here and of course I don't have a black background for it but I don't care I'm just gonna try again and as you can see just doodling with it and I'm not trying to be accurate I'm not even sure I'm going to use all the spaces maybe just this basic flower uh, shape yeah this one is more uh, you can see it more so you see i'm not trying to be accurate it's it's really is just like uh, doodling of course this is a uh, my preference uh, you can do an an accurate uh, thing with your stencil i'm just want some kind of impression here yeah let's see It doesn't have to be exactly like this one it just needs to be almost and so there will be something that will connect the two uh, elements Okay, I really like it. I'm gonna leave it. Uh, <laughs> I need to know where to st when to stop. I'm gonna leave it as uh, as uh, is, and I'm just gonna uh, stamp some sentiment here. Have big dreams, you can grow into them. That's what I'm gonna use here.
sometimes I don't uh, get uh, clear stamps on from this acetate I'm just using it as is sometimes it's just easier yeah I don't know if it will uh, really show with all the details in the background but uh, I don't care if it uh, doesn't really pop up from the page and here it is okay I like it the only thing I think I'm gonna add is a little bit of white gesso uh, diluted white gesso that's what I'm gonna do let's see water just going around it a little bit it doesn't have to really pop up I just making some kind of frame but not a frame everything is just blending I hope I am making myself understood what I'm trying to accomplish can hear my uh, one of my kids in the background just another a week a week and a half and they are going back to school at last <laughs> this spring uh, it's a uh, summer break the two months are just too much yeah that's what I try to do and okay that's what I, I like it now the only thing I left to do I want to frame my page and I'm gonna take some uh, makeup sponge and go all around with black like so and I'm always putting more on the corners that's how I like it again no harsh lines I don't like harsh lines on this uh, thing Here we go. That's it for me. This is my page. <laughs> I really like it. I hope you've enjoyed it and it gave you some ideas to how what to play with the uh, papers. 
and this is it for now before I forget uh, I'll be in on the 30 uh, of this month I will announce the winner of the giveaway and thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments and I'll be seeing you in my next video bye